showrunner Malcolm Spellman talks a little bit about Wyatt Russell, U.S. agent, and his version of Captain America. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia and we have a little update on The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Well, we're just a few days away from the premiere of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and we're starting to get lots of press information about the upcoming series. Showrunner Malcolm Spellman has broken down a little bit about Wyatt Russell's U.S. Agent 2 Empire magazine, so I thought it would be a pretty cool time to talk about what he said. Now, before we break all that down, though, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, don't forget about the big giveaway. We're going to give away this PlayStation 5 at 25,000 subscribers. All you have to do to get it on this giveaway is be a subscriber and leave some sort of comment. Well, if you've been paying attention to the promotional material for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, you may have noticed we saw very, very little of Wyatt Russell's John Walker. Now, if you're familiar with him in the comics, he plays the character U.S. Agent and plays a more or less very hot-headed and challenged version of Captain America. We found out he was going to be in the series at D23 back in 2019, almost two years ago. But really, we've heard nothing else about the character who will be donning the Captain America mantle in this series. There's been lots of rumors floating around various sites on the net, and this is quite common with these shows. What we've heard is anything from a red herring to a sort of racist monster who's the actual villain of the series, to perhaps being some messed up mind control victim from taking the super soldier serum. We have no way to know if any of this is true. Now, if you know Walker in the comic, you know most of this is likely true. But, in the series, it appears he might be a little more complex and somewhat of a sympathetic villain. This is what showrunner Malcolm Spellman said. Quote, We took him in a more human direction. Someone who's dedicated every minute to being the perfect person to inherit the shield and represent his country. So it sounds like John Walker really will be the kind of guy that will be so dedicated to his cause and his mission that he'll actually become a detriment to himself and the people around him. Now, there have been a number of quotes recently from a couple of people involved in the series that seem to indicate that PTSD and mental health will be explored in the show, and John Walker will probably be one of the focuses of that. His military career could have very well caused a great deal of stress and trauma, and if you know anybody who's been in the service, you know those wounds last longer than actual physical wounds. This may be something that Sam, Bucky, and John all may draw together on, since they are all military veterans and it just quite honestly affects them differently and might make for a very interesting storyline that we didn't see in the comics. Now, Malcolm Spielman talks a little bit about these potential scars, and it really does draw a picture of a guy that's trying so hard only utterly to fail and become essentially what he hates. He says, He has to confront that. Was all the stuff I did righteous? If it's not enough for me to be honored or accepted as the rightful heir to the mantle, why it crushed it, the humanity of that, the scar tissue of his journey. If you remember during that first Captain America movie, they had a little bit of a different person in mind than Steve Rogers for the Super Soldier Serum, Hodge. And I actually think John Walker is probably close to that. Big, strong, follows orders, a good soldier, but the most important aspect is missing that's part of Steve Rogers. And he may even be a good man, but the trauma he has already experienced has likely driven him into an area that Steve Rogers never had to confront before taking the Super Soldier Serum. Remember. It makes you more of what you are, and John Walker is already damaged. Now, obviously, you hope Walker finds his way to being a better guy, but by the end of the series, we all know Sam Wilson is going to end up with the shield, so it is a bit curious on how the storyline will work out. I think giving John Walker a sympathetic storyline is probably key to future plans, and I really do think we're going to see him in Thunderbolts. So what do you guys think? Are you excited to see Wyatt Russell's John Walker take up the shield in The Falcon and the Winter Soldier? And how do you feel about mental health playing a big role in this upcoming movie? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not going to get any updates.